Well, Monday's bomb threat at Central High School forced school officials to evacuate the building, which obviously can be a scary situation and cause some anxiety. News 8 Now's Dewey Israr joins us in studio to explain how the district is helping students cope with these kinds of scary threats. Amy and Mike, the District of La Crosse is sharing information about resources available for students who may need emotional and mental support. In a school board meeting on December 6th, students expressed fear about a rise in threats. With each student I see who is isolated and frustrated, I grow more concerned for our school's collective well-being. On Monday, those concerns became a reality. Students were evacuated from Central High after reports of a bomb threat. We've got an extensive safety plan, and when we have an incident like this threat, we're able to use that plan to guide our actions. The detailed plan, which is confidential for the safety of students and staff, explains how to report a threat, take action if necessary, and provide recovery. Superintendent Aaron Engel says any fears and anxieties students may have are being addressed. We have brought in counselors from other buildings to ensure that there's enough folks there. Students believe the increase in threats is because of a lack of mental health resources during the pandemic. This has led to increased bullying, harassment, and disruptive activity during school hours. Engel says the district is working on allocating its elementary and secondary school emergency relief funds to provide further mental health resources for students. The final submission for our ESSER plan isn't until March, and so it gives us a little time to, to make those adjustments. Engel says students can reach out to teachers and other staff to discuss any concerns. The district says it has received a $20,000 grant from Mayo Clinic and will use it to further fund mental health programs. Thanks a lot, Dua. Students can also be referred to Gunderson Health System if they need further counseling. And they are also encouraged to say something if they see something. 